Can I start with your expectations then around the first half of this year? You say it's difficult to get the economic conditions right, which uh, assess them, which I understand. But you expect the difficult conditions to subside in the second quarter. Why do you have confidence that we'll see that subsiding so soon? We have developed several scenarios, and just like anybody else, uh, it is uh, impossible, like for anybody else, it's impossible for us right now to accurately predict what's going to happen. The situation is evolving very fast. We've, we've done our homework on the direct impact in China for us right now, and that is the scenario that we have included in our guidance. It doesn't mean that we think that this is necessarily the most probable scenario, but this is what we can quantify at this stage. And so that and so the forecasts you've given today, Stefan, do they include much impact on Europe and the United States from coronavirus, or is it really just about what you're seeing in China? No, it doesn't. And uh, like anybody else, we're looking into different scenarios. We have not included a, uh, a global recession into, uh, into our f uh, forecast. But if, uh, if this happens, uh, history shows that uh, such, uh, the impact of uh, such events are very, very industry specific and the shape of things uh, evolving also uh, uh, also differs from industry to industry so with uh, with our biopharmaceuticals our healthcare uh, our healthcare system historical models show that there might be some impact especially uh, on products that are more custo close to the customer let's say our fertility business uh, but uh, uh, pharmaceuticals is generally not as radically affected as other uh, as other industries with our life science uh, business we're into laboratory supplies we're into biologics manufacturing so we also don't expect a major impact on this and then when it comes to our performance materials sector we see that uh, historically the electronics market has been less affected by such, uh, such situations there might be more of an impact short term medium term on the display market so and that's uh, a very active market in china as well stefan i mean no one has a crystal ball clearly but given the information you have now and we've heard by the way from bmw and just now from hugo boss that the supply chain is back online uh, they're, they're 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 producing th their products are you seeing then supply and demand issues alleviated already in China? Is China getting back to work and getting back to shopping? Uh, China is, is getting back to work. Being our company, we had a policy like many other, many other uh, uh, companies. We, have, we are now in a situation where, we, uh, uh, where our employees are coming back to work. We have more than 4,000 employees in, uh, in China. We kept during sort of the first phase of the crisis, we uh, we kept about 400 of these 4,000 uh, 4, that were absolutely business critical at work, and everybody else was working from home. As of this week, people are returning uh, are returning uh, to work. I mean, uh, uh, basically in daily contact with our uh, with our China uh, China team, and what I hear from the team is encouraging. Can I ask you about the liquid crystal side of the business? Merck was seeing slowing sales in China there before the coronavirus because of Chinese competition. What is the, com the competition like at the moment in China on that front? Well, the Chinese situation was actually that we had better growth in China than in, uh, in other Asian countries, and uh, all of the display manufacturers are based in either Korea, Taiwan, uh, uh, or China and to a, to a lower degree in, uh, in Japan. We have no information about uh, how our competitors uh, and what situation our, com uh, our competitors are. My reference to the display market was more uh, when it comes to consumer reaction, uh, uh, TVs, etc. That is something that is much more um, uh, um, sensitive to, cons uh, to consumer sentiment than, uh, than our other businesses. What about the um, semiconductor business? In November, you cautioned investors that that business was going to face a tough first half. Clearly, um, I, I guess you can confirm that. Does it look worse now? And will that p business also um, see a V-shaped recovery in, in H2? 
Uh, we've seen a V-shaped type of recovery in, pre in, previous, in, in previous crises. When you look at the semiconductor market, without, without any impact of corona, we have seen early signs of a resurgence. So in the, in the logic market, we've seen new capacity uh, uh, going online, and it looked as if uh, the memory market was sort of uh, 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 flattening, uh, flattening off. So far, we see no concrete impact of the corona crisis on the, uh, on the electronics market, but it would be uh, uh, naive to assume that there would be zero impact. However, we don't expect it to be major.